What is up guys, this is Jeff Benjamin with iDownload Blog. I am a huge fan of AirDrop uh, communication between iOS and the Mac. And I like to send photos over from my uh, iPhone to my Mac using AirDrop. That's great, right? That's a great little function of OS X Yosemite and iOS 8. But there is one issue that I have with this process and that is that everything is automatically stored in the downloads folder on the Mac, which is annoying to me because I don't work from the downloads folder, I work from the desktop. So so that just adds another layer of things that I have to do. I have to move everything over from the downloads folder to the desktop and it's just annoying. Let me just show you here um, what happens when I airdrop a photo over. So I'm gonna select this photo. I have it selected here. There's my Mac. I'm just gonna tap that. I'm gonna airdrop it over. You can see it automatically receive a file and look where it stored it, right there in my downloads folder. Right, so then I would have to take it from the downloads folder, drag it here, release, and then work with it just like that. That's just my workflow. Uh, but let me show you what I'm gonna use to make this process even easier and simpler and make everything automatically go over to the desktop. I use a tool called Hazel, and perhaps you've heard of that before. It is an automation tool for OS X, and it's very, very powerful. Uh, this is just a very, very minute trick that you can use uh, to get some incredible uh, use usefulness out of automation on, on OS X. Um, so this is literally nothing. It's just like the tip of the iceberg when it comes to Hazel and what it can do. Uh, so once you install Hazel, you'll see the preference panel here in the system preferences. So you just open that up and then you automatically, when you install it, you should have downloads as your main folder uh, selected here. If you don't, you can just add that folder. And then you need to add a rule. So this rule is gonna be extremely simple because when I airdrop stuff over from my uh, iPhone to my Mac, it's always images. Either, uh, well, almost 99% of the time it's a PNG. Sometimes it may be a JPEG, but 99% uh, of the time it's a PNG. So what I'm going to do, I'm gonna create a rule that has two basic conditions. Uh, so I'm gonna hit the plus sign here, and I'll just call this new rule um, airdrop. Airdrop, all right. And then I wanna make sure that if any of the following conditions are met, then the action will take place. Uh, so I'm gonna select extension, and extension is JPG. Probably won't have many of those. And then I also want another one, extension is PNG. Now, you may be thinking, well, what if I download a JPEG from the web and it saves in my downloads folder? That's fine, because I don't normally do that. Like if I'm working, if a download is in my downloads folder and it's a picture, then generally it's coming from iOS. So just keep that in mind. Obviously this, you need to modify this to work with your workflow, but this works for me pretty well. So do the following to the match file folder. So I just wanna move that, it's already there, and I just wanna select desktop. So I'm just gonna select my desktop here. All right, and select open, and then okay. So there we go. All right, and then of course you can modify this to handle duplicate files or however you wanna go about doing this. I'm just showing you the basic framework for this uh, rule that I'm setting up for AirDrop. All right, so I have it there. Everything's configured. I need to make sure the Hazel is running, so I'm gonna start Hazel here. All right, so Hazel is running. Now I'm gonna send myself a photo. I'm gonna send myself a couple of photos actually. How about that? Um, let's see. Um, that one, all right, I'll send those three photos, then tap the Mac, and watch what happens. All right, they're receiving the photos, and then automatically, those are automatically moved over to my desktop just like that. So a super simple way uh, to automate the movement of pictures, PNG and JPEG files from your downloads folder over to your desktop or any other location that you prefer to have those. If you wanna put it in the pictures folder, you can do that as well. Uh, so I just think this is a really great tool, great little automation tip. Uh, and it saves me not a lot of time, but a, a few fractions of, of time each day. And I really appreciate it because I know where my images are uh, easily and uh, without thinking about it too much. So that is uh, my tip for saving um, photos from iOS via AirDrop uh, to my desktop on the Mac using Hazel automation. Folks, let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownload Blog.